Happy holidays, guys. Wiki Legend here. Welcome home. We're going to continue our how to for beginners with uh, cruisers with uh, the good old Hawkins. Good old Hawkins. So, uh, this is also a British cruiser. Uh, this is their heavy cruiser. Uh, when they mean heavy cruiser, it's not because it's heavily armored, it's because the guns are a lot bigger. Um, these ones are 190, as opposed to the Emeralds being 152. Okay. So. Uh, this is kind of the beginner ship for the heavy cruisers. Uh, they get the guns go even bigger later on. Uh, this one's kind of interesting. Also, it has uh, secondaries in really funky positions. And it's got a lot of guns. It's got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six per broadside, right? This one won't be able to fire on that side. This one won't be able to fire on that side. Um, what are we also dealing with here? Let's look at equipment. Let's do it. Torpedoes also. Nice. We do have Hydro. We do have a heal, but look, no smoke. So we're dealing with no smoke cruiser. This one isn't going to be you sit there in your, in your farm unless you can find a smoke further back. Not likely. So we're going to maintain distance, max range, like every cruiser would, minus the emerald because it has smoke. Um, make sure to upgrade everything, right? So you can get the maximum range, 13.9. And then uh, with a 10 point captain, pretty much uh, get the turrets rotating again fast because you're going to want to. I want to see what's shooting at me or how many people are looking at me. That's ideal because I don't have smoke. I want more heals and hydros, at least one more, and then concealment again, which then puts us at 11. The other cruiser is at 8.9, if you guys remember. So this thing, the bigger uh, caliber gun, uh, makes the concealment uh, a little bit, a little bit um, worse. Also, the ship is a little bit bigger too. Um, let's do exterior. We're gonna make sure we have at least that. We normally have Juliet Charlie, so we don't detonate. But, like I said uh, in the previous video, for testing reasons, we'll leave it. We'll leave it off. Uh, and this one sometimes comes with uh, camo. Depends on when you got it. Uh, if not, run any of the types: Type One, Type Two, and Type Five. Okay. And uh, yeah, let's get going. Let's get going. Still have my uh, winter hat on a little bit sideways, but uh, that's uh, how I'm unique. Mm -hmm. Remember, guys, uh, this game could frustrate you. Just stay positive. Stay positive as much as you can. It's just a game. You don't need to upset yourself. You don't need to upset anyone else. If there's uh, any negative thoughts, your best bet is to keep them to yourself. Spreading it out there uh, usually multiplies, and there's no point. Right? Everyone's trying to have fun, I think. All right, we are top tier. Ooh, there's fours. Ooh, it's a lot of divs. Divs are scary. Whenever you're playing solos and there's a div, try to hunt them first. Because as soon as you get rid of them, they're using comms like I am right now, but they're talking to each other. So they have an advantage. And uh, when teammates are talking together, huge advantage because they can plan an attack. They can plan an ambush. All right, four caps. We have B, they have C. We know where they're going to go. They're going to go in this area. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to go towards the islands. So we can use these islands so the battleships don't shoot us. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn our guns to this side. We're going to hit go. This one doesn't have an acceleration built in like the Emerald. So what we're doing is going slow. Uh, the light cruisers are going up the British line. They all have built in acceleration. Just so you guys know. So you're going to get a fast boost. Um, with the heavies, heavy cruisers, they don't have that. Just so you guys know. Which is fine. Torpedoes are at what is it, seven. And uh, just a big fun fact: if you're a cruiser player, most of them have torpedoes. That doesn't mean go and use them. Uh, use them only as defense. What that means is, let's say something comes around that's big and you can't kill it with a couple of volleys. Dumb torps, just so they can be equalizers. Um, but just going out there in the middle uh, to throw torps to come back, you're dead. It, it doesn't work that way. This one also has HE, as you can as you can see. Now he's not max range anymore, and we're gonna transition from him to him. So that whole that whole div is right here. Okay, we can't see him anymore. So what's gonna happen is we're gonna go for him. 
his buddy's back. That's a fun, fun little thing. He smoked up the DD that doesn't have smoke to then go be spotted again. And then he's gonna die. No matter what, shoot the DDs. Now, I know that the battleships are gonna shoot me, so I'm gonna constantly move. I'm gonna try to get to these islands as fast as possible, because you saw, we're full broadside the battleships. At least those ones there. And if I'm spotted, that means they can shoot over here. Put ourselves in a good spot here. Now, he is broadside. I should have gone AP earlier. I didn't. Make sure we're not gonna hit this island. The planes are coming to me. That's a good thing. That means they're going to nowhere else. Back to Ichi. He angled. He's not going to be able to torp me here because there's not enough water. But he can try. Okay. I'm still spotted due to the planes. So he's shooting me. Hopefully soon one of our DDs will actually leave the smoke. So we can actually have... Uh, Spotting. Oh, our, one of our DDs did leave the smoke. He died. So he pushed into the enemy. There, there's literally no reason for that. Um, I think a lot of players think that they can just avoid. Remember, when you set down your smoke, don't leave towards the enemy out of smoke. Leave back the way you came. Yes, focus him. The battleship just smacked them, so we're going to continue. Try to get rid of him ourselves. Yes, we could be shooting the DDs right now, but this guy's actually affecting our DD. I'm actually doing his job. Couldn't get that fire. That's okay. Let's fire at him. Nothing else is happening. We're gonna get a nice heal off. You guys get yourself the little mod that tells you how much your maximum heal is. Try to match it so you can get your maximum heal out of a heal. Then you're not wasting your heals. Right. Now the Genova is still back there shooting me. That's not ideal. The only reason I'm being spotted is because of the planes. Kind of sucks. Okay, Jaguar is going middle, so we're going to go middle. We're not fast, but we have Hydro, and he doesn't have smoke. All he has is torps and his guns. Uh, we will outgun him because he's almost dead. And hopefully we don't need any of his torps because we have Hydro. Now, we know he's going in the middle because we're watching the minimap. You have to watch the minimap, doesn't matter what ship you play, especially CVs. A lot of CVs lose track that they think they're safe in the back. But with the minimap, you'll see if someone's flanking you, and you'll find out if um, you can survive or not. Now, this is not ideal because we're going to have to face him. But he doesn't know we're coming, so if we go this way, we avoid him. Right now, we're spotted because of the Minikaze. We're actually going to leave here. What we're going to do first is... Dump our two torps. We only have two. Well, that's fine. Looky, looky what we have. One shell for a thousand? Yes, please. Give us more. We're going to go Hydro. We know he's going to dump torps on us. Or, or maybe not. Maybe he's not paying attention. We gotta leave though. I know the Chazada is coming this way. That's not good for us. Our guys keep uh, dying though, which isn't fun. Quarter speed to make the turn. You slow down to make a sharper turn, guys, just so you know. Uh oh. Yep, there he is. Luckily, he didn't turn his guns correctly. Gives us a second to actually get out of here. Here we angle as much as we can. We do have a little bit more armor though than the Emerald. Luckily, that's all it was. Shoot back. Oh, shoot back. Unless you're dark. Then just leave. Alright. Phoenix is gone. New York left. And they're just about to cruise the CV. Look at this. Alright. Going to AP. Our rounds are a lot bigger than the Emerald. We're going to do some significant damage here. If we make our shots land nicely. We know Chazada's pushing, so we're just gonna keep shooting him. Is he shooting at us? No. We can slow down now. If, if we're not getting shot at, we don't have to move. But as soon as we get spotted, we need to actually um, start moving. And he's dead. Our shots are gonna kill him. Enemy 
Okay, we're gonna go HG. After this AP. Let's see how this AP does. If this AP does well, we're actually gonna stick to AP. Let's see. Uh, yeah, we're going back to AP. That was a fantastic shot. He's not gonna take too many of those 5k shots. Hmm, this might be a little tricky. Let's start moving, because he might actually have shots on us. This is very bad. We're gonna angle, so we're gonna turn to our right. So we're maximum angled to him. Is he gonna shoot at us? Yes, he is. Here it comes, and angle. Angle saved our life. If we went the other way, he would have been we would have been broadside to him, and it would have been a very bad time. Very bad time. Now he's gonna have to deal with the DD, so we're just gonna leave him alone. Let's focus on this guy. He's shooting us. HE though, so we can actually sustain HE by being broadside. That's fine. If it was AP, it'd be a different story. Now is it gonna switch? If he doesn't want to switch, that's fine. Uh oh. This is bad. Our DD died. Got volleyed. This isn't good at all. What's not good is the uh, celebs doesn't have um, torps. Because he doesn't have torps, <clears throat> he can only ram. And I hope he makes the ram. He actually landed a really good torp. So his little sacrifice actually paid off because we had we got an actual uh, we got him to sit there and eat the torps. That worked out fantastic. All right. Oof! That was so close. Okay. Well, we're not gonna catch that guy. He, even though he ran into the island, we're gonna turn around and uh, GG. Notice how I was constantly moving around, even though, yes, I did slow down here only until we were in danger. Then I started moving. Uh, I was constantly paying attention to the main map to see who can shoot us or else I wouldn't have stopped. Keep moving. Try to take, uh, you know, I try to be max range and see if you can catch guys off uh, off guard. The 190s do pack a pretty good punch. Um, the AP hits for 4,000 a shell, right? The HE hits for 3,000 a shell. Okay, fire chance is 15, so you have a pretty good chance. We have 5. It's not bad. Not bad. Tier 5 game, 62k, nothing crazy, but we're a support ship. We're not supposed to get anything crazy. We're getting something crazy. The enemy team is doing something really bad. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit that uh, subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Bye from me.